Welcome to tutorial four. As a primary modern language teacher, you may already be familiar with my ELP tutorial one, the origin and background of the European language portfolio, with tutorial two, my European language portfolio and overview, and tutorial three, using my ELP as a planning tool. Those three tutorials provide useful preparation for teachers interested in adopting my ELP in the classroom with a view to enhancing their primary modern language program. You may, however, be wondering how best to introduce and embed my ELP in your teaching practice. My ELP Tutorial 4 aims to take you through a three-phase approach which can facilitate this process a step at a time. Step 1. Using my ELP as a planning tool. When planning for the modern language classroom, you need to plan for the integration of the three strands of the modern language curriculum, communicative competence, language awareness, and cultural awareness as well as the language skills. As described in more detail in tutorial three, you need to plan at three levels, term planning, topic planning, and lesson planning. You also need to plan for the modern language in the context of whole school planning, which involves collaboration between teachers at whole staff level or on, one, on a one-to-one -one basis between the class teacher and the modern language teacher. My language biography is the main component of my ELP that you will use for planning the modern language curriculum and lesson. Once you are familiar with my ELP and related resources, you can start using it in the course of whole class activities and reflection prior to pupils receiving their own personal copy. The resources available to you to familiarize your pupils with the underlying concepts terminology and visuals can be downloaded from the Modern Languages in Primary Schools initiative website. They include 10 topic title cards. These resources can be used in the Modern Language Corner and are with the interactive whiteboard for revision or self-assessment. Topic title cards can also be progressively added in the Language Corner to serve as a record of topics covered over time. Two, a complete set of can-do speech bubbles for the 10 topics. These have been developed as child-friendly visual and kinesthetic equivalents of each of the statements listed in the CANDU checklist in my language biography. They bring great flexibility to the use of CANDU statements as they can be used individually or in any combination with reference to lesson goals, self-assessment, or introducing or revising of language linked to particular CANDU statements. They can be used either on the whiteboard or in the modern language corner. As well as the resources described earlier, you will also find a set of five language skill icons, as well as an intercultural icon. These can also be used in the modern language corner or on the whiteboard, possibly in conjunction with the can-do speech bubbles. Four, a set of three confidence level icons. These are the three characters representing how confident I am in relation to the particular can-do. They extend from needing a lot of help to just needing a little help to being able to do it on my own. These three confidence levels can blend naturally with any other approach you may already use to encourage pupils to give you feedback or engage in self-assessment. Five, a set of class posters. These are a set of additional MyELP related resources which have been developed to facilitate whole class reflection in language awareness or cultural awareness in relation to themes included in various sections of my language passport, my language biography, or my dossier. Six, a set of supplementary worksheets. These are sample worksheets which also relate to themes covered in my ELP and which may be used prior to pupils using their own individual copy of my ELP, as well as in parallel to the individual use of my ELP. They also primarily cover language awareness and cultural awareness themes. As you will note, they mostly require pupils to respond in either English or Irish and may constitute a valuable contribution to language SPG or SESE curricular objectives. On this slide, you can see examples of the different My ELP related resources listed earlier. Which ones can you recognize? Let's see. Which language skill is represented in the single icon on the left? Which topic do you think the can do speech bubble in the middle would belong to? And which language skill section does it belong to? Which of the three curriculum strands do these resources relate to? Of the three confidence level characters below, which one expresses full confidence? In addition to the resources linked to language awareness in the previous slide, you can see on this slide three examples of class posters which can either be used for displays in the target language or for a multilingual display. 
To the right, you can also see two examples of worksheets for individual or pair work, which can prepare for whole class reflection. My golden rules in where pupils have an opportunity to reflect on and record important or interesting things they've learned about the target language, and my own and other languages, which can be used to initiate very simple reflection and languages and the pleasure of learning new words in other languages. Here you can see some examples of my EP related whole class work. These photographs are connected to the theme of languages around us, which is covered in one of the initial pages in my languages passport. Related resources available to teachers include a languages around me class poster and comparing different languages worksheet, both shown on this slide. You may be interested to see how other teachers include my ELP related material in their classroom modern language corner displays. A language corner is not only about displaying words and related documents, it also allows you to showcase how much French we have learned using the language skill icons and reduced versions of the can do speech bubbles. Learning about people and places is one of the pleasures offered by the modern language curriculum. As can be seen in this picture, pupils greatly enjoy hosting and learning from a foreign student teacher. They enjoy taking part in new activities, learn new language and new facts about their host and his or her country and people. Any opportunity for a class to host a visitor for an hour, a week or a month provides you with a prime opportunity to engage the class in observing, comparing and contrasting, reporting and expressing opinions. The MyLP related class poster, what we have learned from the culture of, and the worksheet on someone interesting from, just presented on this page, provide you with ready-made resources to help pupils capitalize on the learning opportunity afforded by hosting visitors. These resources link with some of the intercultural pages found at the end of each topic section developed in my language biography. Things we have from other countries is another example of a whole class activity in the area of cultural awareness. Activities and reflection around cultural awareness can start before pupils receive their own copies of my ELP. Related to this theme is the whole class activity, or indeed whole school activity, of compiling a target culture culture box. This slide contains a sample of possible resources related to things we have from other countries. For example, a wanted for a culture box poster, a worksheet entitled something interesting I have from, as well as an example of an artifact. Step three. You are now considering moving on to step three of my ELP implementation in the classroom. Do you, as a primary modern language teacher, feel comfortable in using my ELP as a planning tool? Are your pupils familiar with the notion of can-do statements, with self-assessment, with goal setting, with confidence levels? And are your pupils familiar with the idea of engaging in language detective and culture detective activities? If you answer yes to all of the above, you have successfully progressed through the initial two stages of the process of embedding my ELP in the primary modern language class. Well done to all. It is now time for your pupils to reap the benefits of this initiation and receive their very own copy of my ELP, which will accompany and document their language and culturally related learning from now on and will serve to showcase it in the future. Pupils' use of their individual copy of my ELP requires gentle guidance from you and great care from them. In this final phase, you can use a number of resources which we will go through in the next few slides. We will also provide examples of pupils' use of each component of my ELP. Once pupils have received their own copy of my ELP, you will still be using resources previously used for whole class activities and which pupils are already well used to, such as can-do speech bubbles. My ELP icons, class posters, and worksheets. You will probably also come back to some of the introductory activities used to familiarize the class with key My ELP concepts before pupils actually tackle filling in their first can do checklist. It is, however, now time for pupils to identify what My ELP looks like, what it's made up of, and to explore their own copy. Additional resources that will help you to facilitate this exploration include. Exploring My ELP Worksheets, the online page suite version of My ELP, and My ELP Young Learner's Guide. Each of these will be presented briefly in the next few slides. The set of worksheets that you see here can be used to explore My ELP. 
they are suitable for pair or group work. The online version of MyLP can be very valuable as a whole class tool. It can supplement the use of MyLP hard copies and facilitate explanations and demonstrations. However, it cannot supersede pupils' hard copies since it is, by its very nature, the ELP is the property of each individual learner. Besides its three main components, every My ELP pack contains two users' guides. One is more detailed and more suitable for teachers. The Young Learner's Guide, seen here on the left, is larger in format and more child-friendly. It is addressed primarily to pupils, but you will find that it is also a useful reference document to satisfy most parents' curiosity about the rationale and practical use of my European portfolio in their child's modern language class. The Young Learner's Guide will allow you to answer most pupils' questions about my LP. You may set some pupils the task of searching for specific information in the guide and reporting to the rest of the class. You will find possible task questions in, in the Exploring My ELP worksheet based on the Young Learner's Guide, which forms part of the series referred to previously. It is for you to decide which My ELP component your pupils will tackle first. You may decide to introduce pupils to My Language Passport first, followed by my dossier. Pupils will have the satisfaction of recognizing areas covered previously as whole class activities and will enjoy crafting their own record of language, culture, or cross-curricular experiences and learning. This slide shows an example of the initial pages of My Language Passport built by a pupil. Filling these pages may be done over time if they are started in fifth class and revisited in sixth class. It would be useful to distinguish, possibly by color coding, the answers given at each stage. Although it is only a slim document, my dossier has the potential of becoming quite substantial over the course of the two-year program. If necessary, its contents may be accommodated in the plastic folder which holds all of the ERP components. The key to filling in my dossier is that, like any good portfolio, rather than be seen as a random collection of everything and anything pupils have gathered in their modern language class, it should instead reflect their own best of selection. Here you can see examples of a pupil's filled dossier pages. You will now be presented with more examples of material connected to different sections of my dossier to illustrate the extent to which my dossier can become a virtual companion to pupils' experiences in the ML class. Pupils are encouraged to apply a critical eye to work they have done in their ML class. Pupils may refer to the page at the end of each topic covered in class or, in the case of some pupils or classes, whenever they decide that a new piece of work should be selected for inclusion in my dossier. This greater level of autonomy in completing my ELP sections is considered to be an ideal scenario, if at all possible, with some of your pupils or classes. The page of my dossier shown here encourages pupils to make connections between their target language and culture or cultures, and what they experience and learn in other subject areas, particularly the visual arts and music but also English, Irish, drama, and even sports. As can be seen from the examples given, this is a very inclusive link to focus on, as it allows for a significant level of differentiation in the ML class. Last but not least, my language biography and its can-do checklist, possibly the very core of my ELP. You will initially approach my language biography through focusing on a sample topic. Pupils will recognize the can-do statements, language skills, and confidence levels on the Myself and Others double page from having seen them in step two. Using the online page suite version of that page, you will be able to demonstrate how to fill in the confidence level boxes with dates rather than ticks. You will also need to demonstrate how pupils should conduct honest and realistic self-assessment about their level of confidence in relation to each can-do statement. Depending on the type of lesson and on your own planning, you may decide to suggest self-assessment with reference to all language skills within the given topic or select the particular skill being focused on in class. Pupils may work individually or in pairs and or with help if needed. The natural process leading to completing a can-do checklist or part of it starts with goal setting at the beginning of a topic. Self-assessment and recording in my LP may occur in the post-communicative phase of a language lesson or following revision at the end of a full topic. When the topic is revisited, pupils will have the opportunity to reassess their level of confidence in relation to the different can-do statements. 
Here you can see a short video of pupils using MyLP. Note the way they are dating the boxes to show their progression. Now, I'm with you and I'm a Yenis. Ooh, the long cover of. No, flip your green cover up. No, just staying. I'm Dara Kesh. Laura, Lake Market. Take him down here and see them and not see him stuck as his car will call near him. Okay, well, Liam is stuck and not to keep him too.